I shall drive them right beyond the Chinese frontier. Korea shall be reunited. Peace shall come to this peninsula, to Asia, perhaps for a long, long time. If we fail here to destroy them totally, we shall be fighting another bloody feudal war somewhere else a year, 10 years from now. If now we merely stop them, stop them going east to Japan and they'll turn somewhere else, south inevitably, Indochina. Victory at Incheon means a boost for the morale of the United Nations. It means a positive effect on public opinion throughout the world. It means the end of the Kremlin's ambitions of taking a hold in Asia. And it means the Koreans can harvest this year's rice crops and the people can eat. All right, let's submit. We take the beaches. We land here at Incheon. But say we can't reinforce the Marines for the whole of 12 hours. What's to prevent another fiasco like at Anzio? Admiral, I was not at Anzio. But everything seems to depend on one small thing, a lighthouse. Gentlemen, you have my word. The lights of Inchon do not go on and stay on. The whole invasion will be abandoned. What's really worrying the Joint Chiefs of Staff is this date. September 15th doesn't give any time for preparation. Why, it's less than a month. You had nearly six months to prepare for Okinawa and Leyte. I have to agree. General Collins, in one month from now, we'll be fighting ten times as many troops defending the city. I have information the North Koreans plan to reinforce it toward the end of the month. So, September 15, it has to be. You're right, General. September 15th, it has to be. I realize I'm merely the token Turk, and my brigade hasn't arrived yet. But perhaps in the first reconnaissance party, you'd find a place for a few of us. Which reconnaissance party? I'm not that simple. You're going to have to send a small force to seize those lighthouses. Particularly this one. For the Marines to get a position by daybreak. <laughs> Colonel Hallsworth here's probably been wondering why he's sitting in. Now he knows. If that's a prayer, Colonel, don't stop now. You mean, sir, I've just found out I'm the lighthouse party. You're the only man I know who's lived almost a year on that island. Of course, it's a job for volunteers. I could swear I distinctly heard someone volunteer. up at your villa around nine o'clock. Don't make it any later. We have lots of things to talk over. Right. Ciao. Ah, did you find your girl? No, not yet. How are you, Colonel, sir? How'd you like to fly in a plane at 14,000 feet without oxygen? Land on a carrier in a half gale? Hell no, not me. about Barbara? No, but knowing her, she'll be along at any time. I hope so. And this, this is crazy. 
Day after day, they keep bringing more and more men into Busan. That's good. I like company. Oh, yeah? Comes time to evacuate. You'll be responsible for getting these men out. Don't look to me for help. Thank you, I could eat. I could eat. What are you doing here? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, looks like I might be free for dinner oh, tonight. Don't me. I will give you a light. I tell you, things Bye, like man. that never happen to an enlisted man. Those Turks are some tough babies, so they tell me. Great fighters, too. <laughs> each other. Next time, fight against the enemy. Put that bloody camera away. Maybe this would help. War is hell, isn't it? Hey, what's this? Oh, God, I'm never going to get this thing started again. And whose, may I ask, are these young children? to walk home. But Brigadier Kimmel Epchet said you should feel as if this is your home. Thank you. You've all been terribly kind. Come on, you little rat. Now, he uh, doesn't want you to be late at the villa. Uh, what the hell's going on? Make a date with some broad? Want to use my room? Oh, come on, Colonel. Now, would I ever? Yes, you would. Right, I'll see you two later. 